so here's me uh, trying to remember how to use ancestry.co.uk and oh it's automatically signed me in so I'll send you the user ID and password um, up here is what's called hints and basically it looks at what's already on your family tree and goes to look and see if it's got any documents that could help so if we come here and look at my family tree it's not a quick website I have to say um, all these various places have got hints so let's oh, and you move around by coming down to the bottom left hand corner and moving this window around uh, so let's come down to where you are so here's you um, and here's your dad and we haven't got any hints on here uh, and I've got some things that are wrong up here somewhere you'll see that um, at the moment all these people Elsie, Kath and Wynne are children of Ruth but not of Henry the only person that's a child of Henry at the moment is my dad and that's because I made something wrong but I'll fix that uh, but let's just go and have a look at a hint so if we look at this hint here Henry George Hardiman who's a brother of uh, our granddad uh, it says there are six ancestry hints and if we click that what we see here is we've got the free birth index and then we've got 1891 census 1901 census um, now some of these are not going to be right so we have to remind ourselves of who um, who this person's father was and it was William and Jane it was William Hardiman and Jane Moxham so let's look at this one um, this is Henry who's sibling uh, so this is actually looks to me to be our granddad not Henry George but our granddad but let's just review that so Henry George was born in 1882 whereas Henry Harding was born 1884 um, but interesting in both cases they're age seven and related to the head of the house um, we've got parents Henry and Jane uh, and other siblings so let's just go for the moment to William and we already had April 1841 here we've got about 1840 so we kind of leave that but this is quite interesting um, this is data from that census. So in 1891, we know that he lived in Eversman Wake uh, and was 51 years old. And he was married to Jane. Um, I won't change this, um, but we've got this census information. And this census information is from 1891 and she was 48. So we can work backwards to find out that this is about 1843 but I'm not sure that their arithmetic was that good so uh, what you can do is you can say we'll take that but we'll have it as an alternate piece of information and over here you see we've got January 1845 about 1843 and then we can do the same for Charles and we've got that information and now we know that he was 17 and Frank was 15 they did knock out these kids. Florence, who's 13. Fred, who was 12. Beatrice, who was one year old. And we can save all that information to the tree. So that's how you deal with all these little hints and I'm tending to deal with them quite quickly because I've got thousands of them um, here's another one that happens this is other people who found information and if we go and look at this we see that various people here 
um, each of these grayed out boxes is somebody who's been researching this family. Um, and what we can do is we can say select all of those and then review the information from all of those hints. And now we got um, so we got s s information there which is not new. We knew all that about Henry George. Um, this is interesting. William, we've got about 1841 April. We'll leave that. Sutton Mandeville's a bit more de detailed. Um, when did he get married? Oh, we've got more information. Look about when he got married. We knew the date. Oh, we got a, a more accurate date. Um, and in that church. And where did he die? Well, we've got. Let's keep that as preferred, I think. Uh, and I don't know what this 1679631 means, so I think I'm going to make that alternate. Um, let's look at Jane. Um, we've got her being born in January 1845, and I think we're a bit more precise than they were. Uh, we've already got their, her, her marriage, but look, her death is completely different. Does it seem likely that this woman died? She was born in 1843. Given how early they tended to die with the number of kids that they put out, I suspect that this is a different person. Uh, Amelia Jane didn't know about Amelia Jane. She looks like a new person. And Bemerton, not convinced. Tom, yeah, we already knew about Tom. William Gus or W. George, we knew about. Annie, we knew about lots. I've come across several times. His uh, name appears to have been Lawrence, but known as Lot. So that'll do for the time being. There's hundreds of them. So this is how we deal with hints. And if you've got a bit of time, what you can do is... So this one here, look, is wrong. This is Father Richard Golden, Mother Jane Golden, Henry Hardiman. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. What we might do is look at the census record and view the original record. And here we've got, in Pound Street, Richard Golden, head of house, Jane Golden, wife. Oh, you know what's happened here? Oh, and these are carters. These are the people who are carters as, well, as opposed to agricultural labourers. My guess is that Jane Moxham that was, who was married to William Hardiman and gave birth to Henry Hardiman, um, I reckon that William died and she's remarried to Richard Golden, which is how come Henry Hardiman is the son of not actually Richard Golden, but Jane Golden. That's my guess. It does take quite a long time to look at this, but they're still in Pound Street, living in a tiny little house. And Richard Golden's an agricultural labourer and a worker. And Henry is a carter. Bless his heart grow up to be rich and own a big lorry, or the family does. Anyway, let's go back to family trees and show you how you might work with your own family. Now you could start up your own thing all to together, but um, you could just work with this family tree because I'm not going to be working with it that much. So let's see if we can find anything for your dad. And what we do is we just go, I've already found out when he was born and when he died. If we just go search records and what we come up with is uh, we've got a death index and a marriage index already attached. And we can go and if we want to look at those, actually look at the documents. Um, this is obviously not him. That's obviously not him. 
we've got a birth index uh, already attached and we could go and look at that document uh, which almost definitely is not very interesting except that we know that his mother's maiden name was Hawkins don't know anything else at all about her Joseph I there's your dad and his mother's maiden name is Hawkins and he was registered in Fulham and we can find out the date from the top of this document these are births registered in April, May and June 1916 which is indeed what it says there so given that we now know that his mother was called Hawkins here's something which you could do which would make it much easier to work with so if we go to my family tree we can go to Joseph Peacock and look at his family tree which gives you a much smaller thing to work with and now we know come on um, we do know that her name was Hawkins we know that she's female and we can guess that she's deceased and I don't know anything else about her you possibly might do or other things we can find out but it could well be at some stage you'll come in and find that this has got a little flag on it if you wanted to go up and look at upwards of your mother's line again you can click either of these to see her family tree the other thing you can do is you can switch this round to look at pedigree and this will show your father's pedigree but it shows spouse and children so if we were to go to John Peacock then we see your uh, pedigree as it's called and we could start looking at these hints and if you look at these arrows that will expand it so if we want to know about um, Frederick Hardiman we can click there and that will expand out uh, as far as Averina Forward's mother, uh, father possibly Stafford um, that's about all I can tell you at the moment there's a list of these things up here um, that'll do so I'm going to stop this now